before I start, I want to say that the author's name is Oda Airichiro. He has written the manga of One Piece since 1997, and by the way, it's still going. That's over 20 years, and for that, I have the utmost respect for you, and I hope you accomplish all the dreams you have had or have at this moment. I want to say thank you, Oda, for your devotion and time in making the manga as best as it can be and for giving people an amazing manga slash anime. I'm sure it has helped many people and it has helped me feel better through this quarantine. Thank you again. That is it. So we may now begin. I want to first state that I'm not very sure how this video will be formatted. I'll just be saying what makes the show great in a pitching type of way. Whenever I do a video on something I love, that is what my main goal is after all. The goal is to have you check it out and hope you get something out of it. Meaning anything. Love, hate, I don't care. Just check it out. For me. Now let's talk about it. The characters are probably my absolute favorite part about this anime. They are one of the most powerful aspects of the show that you can see immediately from the first episode. Each character is different to such a degree it's absurd. They all are different and unique along with being probably one of my most favorite cast of characters. They all have such chemistry that you can just adore easily. Every character has a goofy moment. There's no character that is serious or edgy like in most other anime. <coughs> Naruto. But you can really see how much they care for each other. And how much detail the author has put in just for the characters alone. If the other facts that I bring up later in this video don't make you interested. Then I promise. I really do promise you that the character interactions are something you should at least check out. Anyhow, I want to talk about the backstories that you will see in this anime. They're all tragic, but that doesn't mean they're bad. Most or even all of them are super powerful and will put at your heartstrings. Example, the two most powerful ones are Sanji's and Tony Tony Shoppers. That's my opinion, of course, and I'm not even that far in the anime, so don't take it all with salt. Sanji's is powerful because it revolves around something that many people would have went through during this pirate area. Along with that happening to Sanji, it also adds more personality and perspective to this character, which is what a good backstory should do. Chopper's backstory is great, because it's just great. I don't want to explain it so much, because I think that's one of the best backstories I ever saw in the anime. It's absolutely one of my favorites in all of anime I've ever watched. But it's powerful because it's different than any other anime, as I just said. But if that doesn't get you, how about some chicken music? I won't speak on it. I'll let the music speak for itself. Here's how the story goes. We find out by the treasure in the grand line. There's no doubt. The pirate whose eye is on it, he'll sing. I'll be king of the pirates. I'm gonna be king. There are only a few more things I want to talk about. Those few things are the character designs and the settings that will appear. Are the character designs powerful or memorable? I believe they definitely are. They don't speak about their personality much, but they do look good and honestly, they are really good. Each character has something that makes them easy to remember. Some examples are Luffy's straw hat, of course. Zora's hair or swords, up to you on that one. Sanji's eyebrows, Usopp's nose, and yeah, I'm not naming every single one because you should understand what I mean by now. Powerful is a design that stands out and works, which I believe that what it exactly does. It gets this job done. And I believe you should congratulate that. You should check it out. Just look at the pictures I will put up now. They all look amazing to me. They all look really good and really attractive i don't know what i mean by attractive but they look attractive and i know sometimes it can look very lengthy and other things like that but it's different and you know seeing different art styles is great sometimes you don't want to see the same art style or it get boring or it will just become uncreative for you so you know check it out for a different art style you'll get some new art out of it honestly the dreams, ambitions, and backstories in this anime are quite great. Let's start with the dreams and ambitions, of course. Every character has joined a crew for a different reason. With each joining this group for their own personal gain is something I respect because of how different it is from other cast of characters, I guess you can say. 
Usually a group of people just join because they're quote unquote intrigued with the main character or some other excuse for them to join the main cast. With them joining for their own reasons comes way more information about the characters and way more respect for each character of themselves. The last thing I will state about dreams is that I love the fact that some of their dreams might not even exist. So why not see if someone else's dream would come true? Imagine the happiness you will see the person in. Imagine the happiness you may experience from sharing the journey. Just think on that for a little bit of time. Last thing we will talk about is settings. The settings in One Piece are kind of great. I mean, one minute we can be in the desert, then next in the big sea, and then next we could be in the winter. I mean, you can even be on a sweet island or a goddamn floating cloud. The amount of places they visit are endless and they will never not be surprising to me simply because I would never expect it from a pirate anime. I think that's something amazing. That's my main and last reason you should watch One Piece. I can go on endlessly, but we don't want to be here all day. And also, this is kind of a test video for something new because I want to do more videos on One Piece in the future, but you know, I got to see how this does and hopefully it does kind of okay or good or people just you know talk about it at least and yeah because i definitely have some things i want to talk about in it that's my reasons on why you should watch one piece and why one piece is kind of great so anyway that's all i have to say right now and for tonight i want to keep this one brief because i have two more videos getting ready one is anime and one is a game and i hope you will watch those if you enjoy this i also talked about ponyo which is an astounding movie which is something no one can deny so go check that video out also last thing i have to say is thank you for watching like and subscribe and share so i can grow and you can grow with me follow me on twitter instagram in the description and i love you guys Bye.